There have been more than 100 school threats made on social media and Metro this school year alone. A spokesperson tells us in the wake of the Florida shooting, students are no longer taking them as jokes. And new at 6 tonight, News Channel 5's Matthew Torres shows us how it's been busy for crisis hotlines. It is in this room where anyone can call youth villages about a teen experiencing thoughts of suicide, murder, severe depression, or simply out of control behavior. But since the Parkland, Florida shooting, there is now a concerning trend hitting the phone lines. Doing some de-escalation with him. And because they are receiving a lot of those calls and every single call is of equal importance. On any given week at Youth Villages, counselors are usually fielding calls about kids considering suicide. But in the last two weeks, things have changed. Started getting uh, more calls from schools specifically around threats or perceived threats of violence in the school setting. Do you often feel like you have the thought that pops into your mind that you... Youth Villages says they've seen an uptick in calls to its crisis line regarding school violence or threats of violence. Okay, so we found that um, peers might recognize that another peer had posted something concerning on social media and as a result of that they told a trusted adult and then that trusted adult ended up reaching out to us. The nonprofit runs a crisis hotline that helps students living across Tennessee. This map shows the nonprofit serves every county in the mid-state except Davidson County. But a lot of our calls do come from the school or from a parent. The counselors can help over the phone or have someone meet the family, school, or police in person. About 60 to 70 percent of our calls result in a face-to-face -face assessment, but there are some calls that we are able to handle by phone. It's almost like a dispatch system, receiving and sending help to kids who need it most. Youth villages began back in the 80s in Memphis. There are now 14 locations across the state. Reporting in Nashville, Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. Matthew, thanks. Now, the number of calls about youth to the state crisis phone line, it is in line with the average of more than 1,500 calls a month. If you would like help from youth villages, there are several numbers to call depending on whether you live in the counties north, south, or east of Davidson County. We'll have all the phone numbers for you and much more information all posted on newschannel5.com.